This is Toyota Gazoo Racing. This beautiful thing is the new Toyota GR86. Now the GT badge has been dropped. This is now a new generation with a 2.4 litre boxer engine up front, power going to the rear wheels via a six speed automatic gearbox. Not only does it look better, it is also now more potent with even more power coming from that engine up front. However, the basics are still the same. This is a light, reliable sports car that you can drive every day or at least Toyota claims. In addition to its stunning good looks, it also has a very sumptuous interior, which Toyota says is suitable not only for track driving and on the limit driving, but also for daily use, which is why it even comes with a couple of jump seats in the back for rather unfortunate people with no legs. You also get black alloy wheels in a satin finish, which is shared with the GR Yaris mind, which I think look pretty good. You also get these very noticeable side strikes again to help with the aerodynamics of the car to make it even more potent on the road. Now the rear has been ever so slightly reworked, again to give it a slightly different aesthetic, marking out the new generation GR86 from the Toyota 86 that it replaces. But you do get twin exhaust pipes, which sound excellent. Now, as I said, the interior is rather plush as you get a combination of leather and Alcantara or suede or Newbuck or whatever the hell it is that they call it. But as you can see, the black and red colorway is very engaging indeed, replete with a leather steering wheel to make everything feel a little bit more plush. Now, in the development of this car, Toyota did try to make this now more sensible for road use, but it has not diluted its capabilities on the track and on the limit. So, what are we waiting for? Alright, so right now I am in the GR86 and we've done a little bit of a driving course and now we're going to head back in the opposite direction. Now, as far as I can tell so far, I am struggling a little with the manual because I haven't driven one in a while, but... in the GR86 and we finally have a chance to drive it on the track properly, a proper track lap. Unfortunately, it is slightly raining which is kind of making me a little nervous because obviously this is a rear wheel drive sports car. Uh, however, unfortunately I'm in the automatic. I wanted the manual but uh, somebody beat me to it. So if you'd like to see how that's like, go and check out Porto Buzz's channel. So now... Okay, 
so finally I have a chance to sort of feel the balance of the 86 and I think even though this is meant to be your daily sports car as it were, it does have a certain degree of poise to it, which I wouldn't expect from something like this given the fact that it's meant to be, again, daily user, but it's satisfying, it's pleasant, I quite like it. In fact, I never considered myself to be a fan of boxer engines, but now I might just be. Okay, and now onto the back stretch, into second gear. That's 130 kilometers now, 130. Okay, we are slowing down ever so slightly before the corner because it is wet. So, okay, the brakes are quite reassuring to use, I find. The controls are quite intuitive in the sense that you get exactly what you want out of this car, be it the gearbox, unless you're trying to shift early, down early rather, and the steering wheel, it feels practically... I'd just like to take an opportunity to talk about just how this car feels to drive because it's where a Supra can be intimidating the GR86 feels very approachable and that is ultimately what the GR86 is supposed to be an approachable sports car and with the automatic especially it feels very easy to live with it feels very easy to integrate into your life and so I think the 86 definitely fits the bill. This is exactly the sort of car that Toyota set out to make and they have fit the bill perfectly. I quite like it actually, even with the automatic. Mm. 